Hey everybody, welcome back! Hello. Cowboy Games, Half-Life 2, what's going on? Hardy people in the house. So now that I've hyped you guys all up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit here. I really have nothing to talk about, I was just trying to get you guys hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a personal episode. It is a personal episode. I personally have nothing to talk about. Wow. How's your trip to Nashville? Why don't you tell the people, <coughs> to tell the people about your Nashville trip? I got really fatter. You got fat? Well, you yeah. know that'll happen. All that food? The food down there is just unreal. We actually just took one day where we just walked around all the different places trying all this different food. and That'd be a good idea. It, so much of it is just deep fried. Not surprising. Everything is deep fried. It was weird. I was having a conversation with somebody down there how... Because he said, uh, oh, have you tried this kind of chicken? Have you tried this kind of chicken? Uh, you know, when you get back home, maybe you should look okay. into it. And sitting there, I was thinking, you know, for the most part, where we're from, fried chicken isn't really a thing. Other than Kentucky Fried Chicken, no, not really. No, KFC is really all that we have. Like, I mean, ugh. I guess some restaurants try and do their own version of fried chicken but really yeah really not many I don't know why and it's huge down there yeah yeah chicken uh, and biscuits chicken well, that's such a funny thing and it's such a cliche thing too because everybody thinks oh the states everything's deep fried down there, everybody's huge blah 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 blah. it kind of is well yeah, I was about to say it's like I mean I'm not saying they're wrong let's just say there's a stereotype for a reason yeah stereotypes I mean, yeah, they're bad, but a lot of them are based on fact. <laughs> Maybe not fact, but truth. Because it happens more often than not, it's the truth. Yeah. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm talking You back there, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I'm just not getting into it. Good. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Fucking white people. I hate those whiteies. Yeah. Honkies always just walking around in their sweater vests and always... Better than everyone. Yeah, and saying <laughs> sorry <laughs> all the time. Gotta hate those people. Dude, that's Canadians. That's not white people. White Canadians. Worst people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's wrap it! Woo! Nice. Did you see that? I did. Woo! Woo! Amazing. All right. Ah, damn you people, die! Damn you people, go back to your shanties! <laughs> Shout out to our other sub. <laughs> Shooter. Shoot him again! I just love that movie. That's a good movie. That is a good movie. Oh god, you know what? What? Until last night, I thought that, you know, mo most Adam Sandler movies were. I think they were watchable. Except for Jack and Jill. Oh God! Well, what? It wasn't Denis. He... What am I thinking? There was def. He's definitely had a couple that were just steaming piles, like actual turds. They were terrible. His newest one on Netflix. I was cringing. Like I was in pain watching it. I I saw it and I'm like, I'm not gonna watch that. It looks stupid. The week of. Yeah. It was painful. Yeah. The jokes were not funny. The the actors that they chose were just awful. Who did he have in it? Um, well, Chris Rock was probably the only good part of that movie. Uh oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of. Well, it, it, the same people. So he had crazy eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Um, oh, why he? I just totally fucking blanked. Ah, uh, Steve Buscemi. Yes. Yeah. Um, so he was in there, and he was just, I don't know why, they, so they would do this stuff where they would just cut to him suddenly for no reason, for just one stupid one-liner, consistently, consistently throughout the whole movie. Okay. But they cut to him at this one part, and he just starts making out with this fat chick, and then that was the whole <laughs> point to it. I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> but, but they just, he had no part in the story, they would just keep cutting to him. Yeah. He'd be in the crowd, and cut to him, like, yeah, that's what I said, and it's. 
Okay. It was... I said it last night while I was watching it that that was probably the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Wow. In my life. Okay. It, it was really bad. That does sound bad. If it's the worst in your life? I think it, I think it may be. Oh yeah, I gotta do that whole thing. That's a bold claim. Alright, where are you fuckers at? Ugh, don't throw a grenade at me. Get back here, I'm trying to kill you. But it makes me sad because I really love Adam Sandler. You know what? A lot of people don't like him. I love him. I do too. Like he's been, he's been, the, yeah, he's been in a, some people would say a lot of shitty movies, but he's been in a lot of good ones. He's just been in a lot of movies, period. Yeah. And I mean, as any actor, I feel like you can't just every single movie you are in can't, they can't all be the best movie. It's just when he has a bad movie, it's not just a bad movie. It is a crappy, steamy pile of turds. Yeah, they're just like, you know, what's the shittiest movie we can make that people will still watch? And you know what? People still do. Yeah. Alright, I need to find some batteries. There's one. And there's another one outside somewhere. Where is it? I feel like it's in one of these cars or something. Yep, there it is. Ugh. Get. Give me that. Give me that battery. What the f it clipped. What the fuck? I need you. Cup. What? There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like, I, like he's done some movies recently that I like. Well, I guess maybe not super recently, but uh, just go with it. That one where he was the dentist with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, that was good. I thought that was a good movie. But people... and So, I know a lot of people typically look for critic reviews before they watch a movie. When it comes to comedy movies, and they'll even admit it to you, that they don't like comedies. They will they will rate n nearly every single comedy as a shit film. Yeah. Um, it's because it's not deep and it's not yeah, if it's original. Not the There's not these big effects and everything like that, right? I feel like critics are pretty shitty. They're like, if it's not gonna be the biggest movie of the year, they don't give it good reviews. Yeah. Like unless it's going to win an Oscar. It gets shit reviews. It's like, oh, well, this joke has been done before. No shit. There's been thousands of comedic movies. Yeah, or this, oh, this theme in this movie has been done before. It's like, how, how many original themes can you think up? Everything's been done already. Yeah. Like, you can put your own twist on it. As long as it has a good story, it's going to be a good movie. You typically watch the comedy movies for the people that are in it. It might be a different joke, but this comedian probably delivers it in a different way than yeah, this one does. Yeah, exactly. Right? You put... Put his own uh, hey. spin on it. Got it. Done. Okay. Like I love, I love Will Ferrell. I hate Will Ferrell. See, and that's exactly it. Some people don't like him. I love him. I just don't like him because he's loud and annoying. Okay. Here come the dropships. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I don't like him is because of Elf. You didn't like Elf? Okay. I do like... I did like Elf. Oh. But so does every other fucking millennial girl. And you they You don't like it just because other people like it, doesn't I don't like it because every girl I've ever dated makes me watch it three or four times at fucking Christmas. Well, you have to. It's, it's a Christmas movie. Doesn't? I... And that's why I don't like it. Because I, I typically don't watch a movie more than once. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of reruns or anything. Yeah. So, I, a movie that I've seen probably 30, 40 fucking times, yeah, I hate it now. Gotcha. Um, but he has some good movies, like I thought... I really like... I like Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights is okay. Where are they? I oh. hate... Uh, I hate Anchorman. I love Anchorman! He screams too much. He overacts, and that's what I don't like about him. Yeah, I really, I really liked Anchorman. I liked the second one too, and a lot of people didn't like the second one. Um, he just—he's over the top, and I'm not a huge fan of over the top. Some of the over the top stuff he's done has been—I I really like. Oh, really? Like I'm trying to think of what. Uh, 
some good ones that like where he's really crazy over the top that I've liked. Semi Pro makes me want to. Play. Oh yeah, I remember when we tried watching that. We got like 15 minutes in and then we stopped watching because it was just like awful. Step Brothers was okay. I love Step Brothers. Like he does really good moves with John C. Riley. Yeah. Like every time they do a movie together, I feel like it's awesome. Um. Yeah, what other movies? Like, yeah, they did Talladega Nights, they did Step Brothers together. Uh, what else have they done? I don't remember. Uh, what's that figure skating movie he was in? Oh, Blades of Glory? I thought that was good. Land of the Lost was terrible. I... The first time I saw it, I thought it was terrible. The second time, I kind of liked it, actually. Hmm. It was weird, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. He should have just... He should have just kept to being a drummer. <laughs> yeah. What was that? The, the Chad Smith or whatever? The... Yeah. That's from right. the Chili Peas. The Chili Peas? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, fucking Jesse from Breaking Bad? Yeah. Chili Pea. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah. It's got Chili Pea in it. Like, who says that? Nobody's ever said that. <laughs> Is pepper really that long of a word that you have to just shorten it to pea? You know what, I see that all the time on Reddit, where, pe where people will post this, yeah, I went to, and then, and then it will be, like, this nine-letter acronym. It's like, other than you, who the fuck is gonna <laughs> yeah, know yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, sometimes acronyms just, like, make it worse, because then, not only do you have to come up and say, say the acronym, but you also have to explain what the fuck it means afterwards. Yeah. It's like, are you really saving time by shortening that? Shortening something that's already short. Mm -hmm. Or when people are texting and instead of saying and in text, they just put an N. Yeah, and this oh, and this. Oh, fucking I broke up with a girl for that. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of town. Like, sorry, I can't stand you. I have... Nope. Shotgun, not the best weapon you can use, I'm trying to think of some other good uh, Will Ferrell movies. There is none. Dust! <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's some good ones. Wait, where is he? Oh, right. Alright. Like, I think he's really... The movies that I do like ah, are the me. ones where he is not the only the big o name. Yeah, exactly. I feel like a lot of actors, there's quite a few actors that tend to overact when they're like the only big name in the movie. Oh, the other guys. I thought that was a great yeah, movie. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was him and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, and see, that's a, that's a good movie where... You know, he's been given a script, he's not the, the lead role, and um, he has to actually do a character instead of just being the generic Will Ferrell character, mm -hmm. where he's just screaming and trapped in a glass box of emotion. Yeah, that was a great movie. <laughs> See, Anchorman, great movie. <clears throat> but yeah, like, yeah, that, was, that movie was good. I really love Mark Wahlberg. I do too, it's kind of funny... Seeing him being in all these comedies, yeah. when he's like, doesn't really seem like the comedy kind of guy. You know, he's always been kind of, you know, he was DJ Marky Mark before. Um, and he's always kind of been the tough guy, you know? Yeah. And then he comes into these uh, comedy movies. And he does really well in them. Can I get you? Good. I really need to get caught up on my Marvel movies. Oh my gosh, there's so many good ones out. I feel like they've just found the formula. Like, every one that they've been coming out with lately has been really good. The last one that I've seen was Doctor Strange. That one was really good. And then, yeah, I haven't seen any of them after that, so I haven't Thor seen... Thor Ragnarok? Haven't seen that. Great movie. It was, it was hilarious, too, actually. Um... Trying to think. I haven't seen the new Avengers yet. You haven't? No, I, I want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Though. I haven't seen that one. I don't think I've seen the one before that either. The first Avengers? Isn't there three? Isn't this the third one? 
is it? I think so. Because wasn't there the Avengers and then Avengers the Age of Ultron or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, yeah, so sorry. I have the third one. Yeah, I haven't seen Age of Ultron. Fuck? Oh. Um, that one was, I thought that one was pretty decent. Um, I'm trying to think, because, like, a lot of the new movies use characters that were introduced in that movie. Like yeah. the Scarlet Witch. Um, she was introduced in that movie. Um, so that one... Yeah, you'll probably need to see the second one before you watch a lot of the newer ones. Because there'll be characters that you don't know who they are. Uh, I still can't bring myself to watch the new Spider-Man either. Oh, with Tom Holland? It, it was okay. It was okay. I didn't think it was anything special. Tobey oh, Maguire, this part. best Spider-Man ever. Fucking Tobey Maguire can suck my dick. He was the best Peter Parker I ever. hate him so much as an actor. He is just... <laughs> he has no range. But he was the perfect Peter Parker. I I disagree. You want to see something funny? Yeah. Oh. Is he dead? When Hilarious, he right? <laughs> Could you have helped them? Uh, I think so. Oh. Well, they're dead now. Yeah, now I have their stuff. Perfect. Uh, oh. Yeah. So this part is kind of, this part's kind of neat. I can't touch the ground. Oh, it's like tremors. It's, it is like tremors. These things, like, well, except rocks are, they can't hear me on rocks for whatever reason. Um, so it's kind of cool because I have to use stuff around me to make bridges so I can go in between places. So what happens? They pop out of the ground like you saw there. Oh. It's just, it's this, uh, this part is really cool. This is one of my favorite parts. Just because it's neat that way. And at the end, you get something fucking sweet. There's a... Uh, I'm so sorry. Go on with your stupid fucking Toby he's a, bullshit. You know what? You know the dance that everybody hates? Yeah. It's exactly what Peter Parker would oh have done God, in the book, Dustin, comic books. Get out of here. You're not welcome. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, Flips his hair sideways all of a sudden. That makes him the cool guy. He, his whole thing is that he is socially awkward, like to the point of Asperger's. That that was his whole thing. That's what Peter Parker is. Yeah, I don't know. He's not a cool guy, nerdy type. Like especially when er, the one before Tom Holland, I can't remember his name. Uh, Andrew Garfield. Yeah, like he's not a nerd. So why are you casting like a a, a pretty boy for a nerd? I don't know. I hate Tobey Maguire so much. Oh, he's so good in those movies. Get out of here. Best Spider-Man ever and will ever be. <laughs> oh my god, Dustin. I just, every movie he's in, he's awful. I've only seen him in those movies. Like there was the, what the, ple something, Pleasantville? Oh, he was good in Pleasantville. Was he? Yeah. I don't know I about like that. that movie. And he was Seabiscuit. I've never seen that one. Yeah, well, you're not missing much. Okay, so there's some other stuff I can do here, which I don't know if I'm going to do, because they are they take a while to do. Um, and also, we have to go right now, because the time is up. It's that time. It's closing time. Closing. Okay, guys, so uh, we'll see you next time. See you next Tuesday. Okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>